it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. All right, I have been trying to record this a bazillion times. <laughs> it's a special request for Frozen off the mat, so let's get started. Let's go into images. I'm gonna search for Frozen. And we're gonna do Anna and Elsa. So let me grab the two images and let me show you something. Hopefully, this time we won't run into any issues, but since the update from yesterday, I have been having serious issues. So if this works, let me tell you how I did it. I went into my settings over here. I'm gonna to go to settings and I changed it from new to classic, okay? So hopefully this solves it. All right, so let's change the height to 30 and change this one also to 30. I do not recommend you doing both images at one time. The reason why both are in here is just so that we can make sure that the sizing works, okay? So at 30 inches, I wanna check on the faces. Um, the face is, let's ungroup it. So the face is good. It's nine inches by nine inches. So everything looks like we should be able to cut it so, and seamlessly, okay? So let's get rid of Anna. Okay, let's focus on Elsa. So Elsa, let's, um, she's already at 30 inches. Let's just start working on her. And I'm, <laughs> fingers crossed. I'm telling you, I've tried to record this so many times. Um, all right, let's ungroup this. Okay, so this is her hair. Her hair, let's scroll in or zoom in just so that we can see it a little bit better. Okay, so her hair is, almost 13 inches wide by 24 inches. So clearly way too big for our mat, right? And okay, there's an extra piece hanging down, so that's good. Let's um, bring in a square. Oops, I'm sorry. Go to shapes. Bring in a square. Let's um, slice that out just so we have a true measurement of the hair. So here is its own little piece, right? So we're gonna grab these two items and we're gonna slice. Um, because the whole hair, even though there was a break in it, um, it was counting this break and we don't want that. We want the little tail to be by itself. Okay, so let's look at this. Let me move this down for a second. Okay, so let's look at this hair. This hair is, um, We could probably slice it right here. So this top piece would be one piece. And then we would have this bottom piece. Um, maybe we could slice it right here. So we could slice it into a couple pieces. Now these are curvy, curvy little pieces. So let's go into text and um, click on the font. We're gonna search for I love glitter. If you don't have this font, you need it. Um, how do I not have I Love Glitter? Oh wait, all. There it is. So it's a free font from DaFont. So you want to go to dafont.com. You want to use this little glyph guy right here. So th to get this character, it's the square bracket. It's the key to the right of the letter P, okay? So this is what you wanna do. So oops, let's go and bring this little guy over. Let's go over to our hair. Okay, thank goodness it's working. All right, so here's our hair. It looks like our glyph is a little bit thicker than like these little pieces, right? So let's shrink it so that kind of matches the width, right? So to me, that kind of matches right there. So what you wanna do is, let's make this just a little bit smaller, okay. Um, no, I wanna make it a little bit bigger, okay. I want this to look kinda of natural, so I'm gonna turn it like this, and let me make it a little bit bigger, okay. Hmm, so, while well, that looks good, that's not working for me. Let me see where I can make another cut. Um, let me see. Oh, 
Okay, so that works. So you see how it's coming down like this? It's going to slice right here. So that let's, let's do this. I'm gonna move this up just a little bit so it's right in there. Okay. All right, let's do this, okay? Grab the hair and the little glyph and slice. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the slice results, okay? And then look at that hair. Oh my gosh, that looks so good, right? You wouldn't know that there's no break there. It looks just like all these little cutouts, except now the hair is separated, okay? So let's do this. Let's get rid of the slice results. And, <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me. Now that this is in two pieces, let's duplicate it because we're gonna contour. So when you're contouring, so earlier we were just slicing, right? We sliced off that little tail end. So the reason why we're not slicing up here to separate the two pieces is because it's they're so close together, I'm going to have a hard time um, getting my shape to only cover this top piece, right? So our other option is to contour. When you use contour and you want to separate it into pieces, however many pieces you want to separate it into, that's the number of copies you need of your image. So I want this to be two images, the top portion of her hair and the bottom portion of her hair, that's two. So I have two copies, okay? So let's go to contour and we're gonna say hide all. So it's gonna leave us this bottom tail, right? Um, but the bottom tail, Let's see, it's, I think that's okay. So here's our bottom. Oh, it's missing this little cut piece. Um, so let's go back to contour and let's make sure that all these little pieces are in there. So you need to select, um, oh, I think that's the only piece. All right, so we brought it back in. So this piece is now 11.8 by 16. 16.9, so it's still a little bit long. We knew we were gonna slice it in one more place, right? But now let's look at this piece. So this piece, let's go to contour. We just don't want this, and we don't want this little piece, right? So now we have the top portion. And the top portion, awesome, is 11 inches by nine. So it's a big piece, right? But it's one nice piece. So let's bring in our text again. So I love glitter. Um, it's the square bracket. All right, so here's my square bracket. Let's make it a little bit big. Go back to our hair. Okay, so now I kind of want it right here, right? So I'm going to flip this over because I want this bend right here. Like that feels kind of natural to me. I'm gonna make it a little bit thinner so it matches the width of the little cut right here. Okay, um, maybe make it a little bit lower. I know, I'm, I'm being a little picky right now, but there, I think that looks really good. So let's grab these two items and slice. And that looks so good, right? There's no way that you would think, oh my gosh, why is the hair in three pieces? Like that looks so weird. It's, It looks exactly like it was designed that way. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. All right, let's get rid of these things. We don't need the slice results, but oh my gosh, that looks so good. Okay, two pieces, right? So let's duplicate this. Let's go to contour. And we're gonna remove the bottom. So now we have this middle piece and it's 8.5 by 12.5. It's still a little long, but let's rotate this for a second. So we didn't do anything, right? But we changed the dimensions. It's now 11 by 11 and it will cut on your 12 by 12 piece of cardstock perfectly, right? So just by rotating, the same piece rotated it went from 11 by 11 to now 13 by six. So you see how that's, you can, you don't need to slice or do anything or reduce the size. You just need to rotate it so that design space thinks it's a new shape and this new shape's measurement is 11 by 10.75, so perfect. This one, let's go to contour and we're gonna hide all. We want this piece, we don't want this piece. 
and this little guy is 4.8 by 4.4. Perfect. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with the hair. The hair looks amazing. All right, let's look at the icy blue over here. So we've got um, snowflakes and then the sleeve. So let's go to shapes, get our square. We're gonna slice out all these little pieces because right now Design Space thinks it's 19 inches by 23 inches, way too big, right? And we also don't want all this empty space. So let's make our snowflake big or our square big. Let's um, cover that snowflake. Now here's the thing about slicing. I'm, I'm all over the place, right? The square is covering the face, the hair is right here. As long as your mouse, your cursor, is only picking up two items, my icy blue and my square, I can slice. Okay, so just keep that in mind. You can only slice two things at one time, but it's whatever your cursor is picking up. So you can, I call it slicing in traffic. There's a lot of traffic in this area, right? But as long as your cursor is only picking up the two items, and I'm gonna do it again, okay? So right now, I'm getting this little piece in the middle, the little snowflake right here. My square is over the hair, over this piece, but my cursor, I'm gonna start from over here. I'm grabbing the blue and my square, and I can slice. Okay, and keep in mind if slicing is grayed out after you think that you've you know, picked up two items, then you either only picked up one or you picked up more than two. That's why you can't slice, okay? All right, so here's my piece. I'm going to wanna slice out this little snowflake up here. Hold on, there we go. I'm gonna grab just the two pieces and slice. Okay, and then, so that little snowflake is all good. Now I just have this snowflake. I'm gonna move the square over, make sure that this snowflake is completely covered in my square. And I'm gonna go up and grab like this and slice. Okay. All right, our snowflake's out of the way. Now this sleeve, is 12 inches by 15.8 it's too big but you see right here we can slice it let's go back to i love glitter <laughs> and let's get that little glyph again this glyph is so awesome because it's got that curve it really does make a difference now i could also bring in like a thin rectangle and slice it but it's too blocky right the, so i feel like this gives it just enough of a curve to make it look really natural so i'm going to bring it in here um okay i feel like we're almost there i just want to bend it so that it looks really natural right there i think that looks that's going to look really good so i'm going to grab the two items and slice I'm gonna get rid of all this. And look at our sleeve. Our sleeve looks so good. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Look at that. That looks like it's part of the design. You can't tell me that that doesn't look good. All right, so we're gonna contour again. So I'm gonna duplicate it because I want it to separate it into two pieces, right? I'm gonna go to contour. And let's see. We want to hide this top one and let's get rid of all those little pieces. So all those little pieces, they look like this, right? Yeah, they're more flat and rectangular. So I can find it, I think. Those are almost all my pieces. That piece, I'm missing this one. There. Okay, so this is just my sleeve. We need to work on it. It's 12.41 by 9.3, but I think if we rotate this, this will look good. Let's go get this little sleeve here. Let's contour and um, let's hide all. And we say we want this one, we don't want this, and then let's get rid of, or let's add back all those little cutouts, right? So it would 
be like this one? No. It would be like this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Do I have almost all of them? And this. Okay, there. That's the whole thing, right? Okay, so this piece is now almost 8 inches by 2.8, and it looks amazing. Um, this piece. Okay, so let's rotate this piece, okay? Because right now the 12.41 is calculated by the most far left and the most far right. So if I rotate this over a little bit, it's gotten better, 12.1. Let's rotate it a little bit more. Yes. 11.1 .1 by 10.99. So basically this will fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock and you don't have to slice it anymore. So everything so far that we've touched is going to look seamless because we made it that way. <laughs> All right, let's look at her face. Um, okay, oh no, here's the whites. So the whites are super separated. So let's bring in a square and slice things out. I think that's gonna be the faster route. So I'm going to get this part of her dress right here. So I'm gonna grab the white and the square and slice. And then, sorry, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Oh, we have a lot going on in here. Okay, we've got this square we need to get rid of. I don't need this square either. Okay, so we have It's so hard to see the white, I'm sorry. All right, let's scoot this over so that I can, here, I'll zoom in here. Okay. All right, so here's our square. Here are all our white pieces. Let's slice out this little corner piece right here. Okay, let's move this over. Let's slice out this piece right here and I'll move even though this little piece over here is in there, because my cursor didn't pick it up, it was only picking up the square and the white. So I'm gonna do it again. See this piece? I'm gonna move it over here. So we still have this piece in, this piece in, but my cursor's only gonna pick up what I want it to pick up. And so I can still slice. And in the end, we can do this. We'll move this piece, this piece, and this piece up, and we'll delete all of that. All right, let's see what we have left of the white. The white, we just have the eyes. Okay, perfect. Let's put this little guy in, rotate this so that only that one piece is in the square. Grab these two items and slice. Okay, so our whites are done. Let's zoom out for a second. All right, what do we have left? We have, okay, just, just a few things. We have the two blues, and this one's simple. This one's, we're just slicing out. We could leave it like this, but it's a lot of wasted space. So I, um, and you know, I use a lot of glitter cardstock, so I like to be as efficient as possible and use my scraps. So it's easier when they are apart than when they are um, together as one image. Okay, so there's our blue. Let's look at this. And see, this piece can cut as is. It's nine by 10, but let's just put this one over here. Slice. Oh my gosh. So Elsa is going to look amazing. No one's going to know that... Um, you know, we worked on the images or we worked on the pieces. She's going to look flawless. Okay, so now we just have the skin. Okay, so let's get this hand right here. The hand is totally in there. Let's do that and slice. <coughs> okay, and then we have, let's get rid of the slice results. So her hand is what? 4.5 by 6.5, amazing. Um, we can rotate this and let's get this little part right here. Slice that. 
And then we'll get her like collarbone area next. Um, so let's move that out of the way. Move this. All right, we're almost there. Okay, so that looks pretty good right there. Let's slice these two pieces apart. And then let's look at her face for a second, okay? That's gonna be the next like tip. Um, okay, so we can get rid of this. We don't need that anymore. Okay, so here's her piece, 6.5 by three, great. Here's her face. Her face is fine, it's 8.3 by 7.5. But you see how like, there's all these holes, right? So if there was a seam coming through it, while we have the eyes covering it, there is still some black spaces. So what you wanna do is you wanna duplicate the face, but the duplicate, you're gonna change it to black because what's gonna happen is this piece is gonna sit on top of the black piece and the black piece is gonna sit on top of all of our cut pieces over here. So if there were any seams, it will be seamless. So let's go and contour out all of the all the enclosed spaces. So if there was a seam through the eyes, there won't be now, right? Because this is gonna go on top, arrange, send to the front. So if there was a seam through the eyes or through the eyebrow, it will now be seamless because we have that black piece. Now, the problem with this eye is because it's not enclosed, we can't do anything about it. But we can make it enclosed. This is what I would do. Um, bring in a circle and let's zoom in just so that we can really see what we're doing here, okay? All right, I'm zooming in a lot. <laughs> All right, so this is what I wanna do. I want to duplicate the circle. I'm gonna enclose this. Okay, I'm gonna make this circle really, really small. And I'm gonna put it right like there. Okay, and then this one, I'm gonna make it really small as well. And I want it to look kind of natural, but that's okay. I'm just gonna do something like this. Okay, so that will enclose those pieces, right? So I'm gonna grab these and I'm gonna weld. And then I'm gonna go to contour and I'm gonna hide all because now look at my pieces, okay? So this, I'm gonna arrange, send to the back. This is gonna go on top of that. So if there were any seams, now you won't see any seams through the black, okay? And it's gonna look really, really good. All right, now I think all we have left is our black background. Yes. So, um, well first let's get rid of the, the Snowflakes, I'm like, what do you call those? Um, so it's one, two, three, four, four pieces, right? So let's duplicate this, two, three, four, and let's go to contour, and we're gonna do hide all. It's gonna leave me Elsa. So here's Elsa by herself. Let's go to here. Let's click on contour hide all but this time i want this snowflake i don't want elsa so here's my little snowflake this one let's go to contour hide all i want this snowflake with that little piece i don't want anna so there's that and then i just have one more right just that snowflake so contour hide all i want this i don't want this okay and now all our pieces are separated okay so we still have this one gigantic piece um so there's another thing that i noticed on here let's click on this one really quickly and go to contour there are some slits in here and the slits will kind of help you place your pieces so let's make sure that those slits are back in um, it just helps you put where the shirt is and where the eyes are if you want to. So if it were me, I would not have the slits because to me, um, this face over here will already tell me that the eyes go in here. 
So that's just me. I don't like having these cut pieces. So it's up to you. You can either add them in or I'm gonna hide all. Okay. All right, so now we have our piece. This is our last thing. It's 20 inches by 30, so it's too big for the Cricut to cut, right? So we're gonna slice it into pieces. So we're gonna build a grid of squares that are completely flush so that we can, it's like a puzzle piece, right? Then we're gonna slice it up. So let's bring in our square and let's make it 11 inches by 11. Technically we could cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half, but I don't like dealing with half inches. So I'm going to, let's just build the square. So let's just put it down. And all you're gonna do is round to the nearest whole number. So 8.6 becomes nine, 1.3 becomes one. So we're basically saying go over nine, go down one, and here's the beginning of our square. We're gonna duplicate this square, put it really close to the first one. And this time, round to the nearest whole number. So 20.3 becomes 20, 1.1 becomes one. All right, so we have a set of flush squares, right? Hit your shift key on your keyboard and grab your second square. So both squares are highlighted. You're gonna duplicate, and you're gonna put that set close to the first set. And then you're gonna change, that's already nine, change 12.2 to 12. Then we're gonna duplicate that set again, and we're gonna put it down here. So you see, we're gonna have like six perfectly flush squares. That's gonna be 23. Okay, I'll show you the math behind it, okay? So this square is at nine, right? So nine plus our 11 inches of the paper. So nine plus 11 is 20. So when you click on this, it's 20, right? Same thing with the Y. So X is running across, our Y coordinate is up and down. This starts at one, one plus 11 is 12, and there's 12, okay? All right, so now we have our squares. Go over to your panel over here, scroll all the way down to the bottom. Let's get our Anna, or our else, oh, what happened here? You know what, let's delete that. I don't even know why it's there. I said it was Anna. Here's Elsa. Um, is that not the one we want because it's, Okay, so let's delete that one as well. What in the world? Where is our Anna? Or our Elsa, there's our Elsa. Arrange, send to the front. So I'm gonna zoom in just so that we could see where we're slicing, okay? This is not a good place to slice because you see her eyelash, that little piece would get sliced off. We don't want that. We want big pieces right here, okay? So like, we don't want this either because all of a sudden this little tip is by itself. Sometimes you can't help it. So you gotta do what you gotta do, but it looks like it can be helped. So see how this square right here is going to be one big piece. Um, let's see. Okay, so this is good because this is gonna come down and while the eyelash is cut off, it's still connected to the rest of her hair. So that's gonna be good. Let me see, right there. Okay, so we've got one big piece, one okay piece. Um, I don't love this part, but this, this is a nice big piece right here, as well as this. So this little guy, I mean, it is what it is. So we're gonna slice, this looks pretty good to me. So let's slice this, we're gonna slice one square and the image at a time. So remember our, our overall image was like 22 inches by 30. Now we're slicing it into pieces that we can cut. So this is 2.3 by 8.7. I mean, that's pretty sizable. Okay, so let's grab this two, these two pieces and slice. So this is a big chunk right here. It's gonna go right here, right? Okay, and then let's slice this. And this is just a glitch, but as long as this piece sliced out, and look how big that piece is, 11 by 10.1, right? So that's a big piece there. Slice this out. This goes right here. 
Um, let's slice this. And we're done. So these two pieces, you could separate these two pieces. Um, I think that we should. So let's just hold on. Let me move this over. Let's grab all of these and let's delete it. We don't need the slice results. Okay, so let's zoom out for a second, see what we have. All right, so we've got these two pieces. I would just, um, let's bring in a square and let's slice it because if we can save some paper, let's do it. <laughs> let's slice, um, let's see if I can slice this. I don't know if I can. This one might be easier. Oh, I think I got it. Okay, let's see. Let's slice these two pieces. I was gonna say contour, but it looked like, yep, I got it. Okay, and then let's slice this hand right here. That's an easier piece to do. And slice. So this went like this, right? Here's her hand. This piece we can get, the slice results we can get rid of. This was somewhere up here. This was over here somewhere. <laughs> and then let's get rid of this and this. And here's her beautiful little hand. So now she's all good. So what you want to do, let's go to the Make It page and see what we have. It's going to look like a lot of pieces, which is why, you know, I don't want to do two characters at one time. All right, at least one of your images is larger than 11.5. That's fine. Don't worry about that. We're going to fix it. Um, so, you know, you can move these things to make it more efficient. You know, if you are using scraps, maybe, you know, you want to do this. If you're using a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, it's still okay. You want to make it efficient so that your scrap next time you have a big piece that's easier to reuse. Okay. Here's our black pieces, big piece, big piece. We're good here. We're good. All right. This looks like we can maybe move to the other pieces, right? Um, or we can keep it. This one we can definitely move. Why does this? Uh, let's click on the three dots, move object. And you can move it to this right here. Confirm. Here's our piece. Um, I, you know, we can just leave it. <laughs> Here's her face, her face face. Um, I think her hand can fit on the other one. So let's click on the three dots, move object, and let's move it back with her face. And then we'll just twist things around. So you just want to make sure that nothing's cutting into another piece. So I kind of rotated that. That looks good. This looks good. We can even squeeze this over here. So you could save this if you were into saving scraps. All right. This is her hair. Remember it it leaves it in the shape that it was found. So we just need to rotate this so that it fits on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Cause you, I don't, I don't have too much of my, uh, why is this not letting me rotate? Okay. I'm going to move up, rotate it a little bit more. All right, there we go. So now this is well, you know, fits totally fine on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Let's move this little guy. Okay, whatever. It's not letting me move it right now. It's acting crazy. Um, this one moved down. Well, let me grab this. Okay, there. So if you had a 12 by 24 mat, which is the type of mat that I use, um, I would just put two pieces of yellow cardstock for her hair. Okay, um, and this piece you can actually move, or move object and move it to the other page. So her hair is in two pieces or two sheets of cardstock. All right, so you could do that. 
If you don't have a 12 by 24 mat, just move this to the other mat so that you would only have a, you know, one 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Let's look at the blue. The blue is good. You can move this in a little bit more if you wanted to, or you can move it over here and move this over like this or like this. And then that way, the next time your scrap paper, you have a big piece that you can reuse easily. Your eyes. All right. This is the other big piece. Remember, if we rotate it like, I think it was like this. And then let's move. Okay, why is it not letting me do that? Let's move these snowflakes out of the way. So let's see. Hold on. Let's move this a little bit by a little. Okay. Oh, see, that's already. Th that will fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. We can kind of move everything in. I wonder if we can get everything to fit in here. So let's move that. Move our big snowflake. Oh, this one's so close. Um, oh, it's so close. I wonder if I did this. Did we have it like this before? No, we didn't. Um, that snowflake may not fit <clears throat> and you can move it onto another mat. So move object and we'll create a new mat. So that one is this color, confirm. So it'll be on its mat by itself. So you can go back over here and make sure that everything fits on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so here are all our little snowflakes. All right, and then her lips, and that's it. Oh my gosh, she's gonna look amazing. So please tag me when you do this. Um, for everyone else, I hope that was a helpful lesson. I felt like we did a lot of good things on this image to make it 30 inches and look amazing. All right, give me your feedback. Let me know if I need to slow down somewhere fast forward through something, explain something a little bit more. All your feedback helps me. And then if you have a special request, let me know too, like this, like this person. Um, I love to help you guys out with your projects. So, all right, I will see you next time. Thank you.